Good morning. How's it going? Go well, James. How about yourself? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Uh, talk a little bit about the victory over uh, Norfolk, uh, a one-point game, uh, three quarterbacks played, and then you had 10 different gentlemen who uh, earned receiving yards. So the ball was thrown around. That's special. Take us back to that game. Like you said, it was a total, total team effort. You know, we we dug ourselves a big hole. We get down 24 to three uh, in the first half of the football game, and and we understand that it's four quarters of play. Sometimes it takes more than four quarters, but you got to give yourself a, uh, an opportunity uh, to be successful at the end. I think our quarterbacks uh, did a great job. Taj did a great job coming in, spreading the ball around. Guys made plays. I uh, got our tight ends involved in the passing game, running backs involved in the passing game. And guys made play down the stretch when it was time to make plays. And defensively, we gave up uh, some explosives that we don't feel good about, but we're able to correct those mistakes after a win. And uh, we'll do that. And like I said, we'll get ready for uh, for Del Oakdale State. Next stop, uh, the bus ride up 95. When you get there, you'll play the Hornets. Uh, talk a little bit about what you want to get done there, and obviously, um, you know, MEAC play and staying focused and taking care of business. Uh, you know, I want to start, start off fast and, of course, eliminate the turnovers. We've been doing pretty well with that. And these the three fumbles we had early, they were just, I mean, they, they were ill-advised turnovers, just straight fumbles, whether it was on exchange or uh, stepping up in the pocket. And that's something we can't do. We can't give good football teams short fields. Uh, to work with because if we do, we'll, we'll build, dig a hole. And, you know, sometimes it's tough to get out of those holes. Uh, we were fortunate this past weekend. Anytime you you, you go, uh, uh, you know, with four terms and win a ball game, that's a, that's a tough feat. But uh, we, we were able to get it done. And, uh, you know, we look forward to starting off fast this upcoming week and, and, and protecting the football and give those guys a, a chance to be successful. Coach, uh, the city of Baltimore is about 38 miles from Washington, D.C., uh, the vice president has a great opportunity this week. Uh, it should be a historic week. But when you think about the political process and, and, and what we can expect and what we will see over the next few days, talk a little bit about your, your thoughts on that and, and, and obviously uh, Harris. Man, this, this is a very exciting time. It's something that we talked about uh, as, as a program. It's something we've continued to talk about. We're going to practice tomorrow morning, give the guys an opportunity to get out and vote for those guys who hadn't vote, voted already. Uh, some guys voted early, uh, but we, we we talk about it as a team. We're, we're educating them on the impact of this election. And uh, we're very fortunate to be, like I said, so close proximity for when, you know, when, when uh, certain people win. We're going to be pretty excited to celebrate with them. And I think this is something that we cannot take uh, lightly at all. Uh, and we, once again, we try to educate our student athletes on the importance to exercise their right to vote. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful week. Yes, sir. Thank you.